Bronyware is a nurse who spent seven years at the deathbeds of the elderly and dying. During those seven years, she collected what were the top five regrets of the dying and wrote them all in her memoir. Let's go over some of these so that we don't have these regrets on our deathbeds. The fifth most heard regret was, I wish that I had let myself be happier. It turns out that when we get older, as we gain experience through life, especially once we're approaching our death, that's when we realize that happiness is in fact a choice, that you have to choose to be happy. Sure, your outside circumstances can help you in making that choice if things are going well, if things are looking really bright, it's a lot easier to be happy, but ultimately it's a choice. You have to let yourself be happy. There are people that have things, millions of dollars, beautiful, friends beautiful circumstances that don't let themselves be happy and as a result torture themselves because of it the elderly seem to realize this that for a lot of their life they were waiting for something to allow them to be happy but they could just simply let themselves be happy so don't make that mistake the fourth most heard regret was i wish i had stayed in touch with my friends how many friends do you have in a lifetime how many faces do you see? People you swore you'd never forget. And yet, because of the vicissitudes of life, because of what happens, we forget some of them. We lose them in the mist. What you have to realize is that people are not like items, they're not objects, they're not collectibles that you can replace and disregard. And once you're on your deathbed, that's when you realize this, that every person's has their story every person has their own individuality their own characteristics their own flavor they brought into your life and some of them you should have never let go of here you are wondering what happened wondering where they are because you couldn't stay in touch you forgot to stay in touch with your friends the third most heard regret relates with people i wish i'd had the courage to express my feelings I wish I had the courage to ask that girl out. I wish I had the courage to tell my parents the truth about my sexuality, about my goals. I wish I had the courage to live a life that I wanted, to be honest with myself, expressing my feelings. That's something a lot of people don't do and that's one of the most potent regrets because when you don't have the courage to express your feelings, to tell people how you feel, about how you're not happy with a certain situation, about how much you love them. When you are on your deathbed, that's a feeling, that's a fact that's gonna haunt you. It's gonna haunt you. All the opportunities you missed because you weren't honest with yourself, because you were too scared to be honest with others. So have the courage to express your feelings. The second most heard regret was, I wish I didn't work so hard. How many of us work 50 hour weeks, 60 hour weeks, 70 hour weeks? Trying to get ahead, trying to get that next big car, trying to get the bigger mortgage, the bigger house. How many of us forget to spend time with our family and friends because we're working? Because we need to beat the neighbors, because we have to work hard. That's what we're meant to do. Save money into your Roth IRA, save money into your superannuation. It's all about working, 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 make more money, work, work, work. And yet, when some of us are on our deathbeds, what do we remember? We remember a life of working, a life of not having fun, a life that's too serious. Where are the memories of us camping? Where are the memories of us climbing a mountain? Where are the memories of us traveling to Berlin? Where are the memories of us actually living? They don't exist because all we have is work. We work so hard so that we could have a good life when we were older, and here we are on our deathbed. The number one regret she heard said was, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. And I feel that we can all resonate with this even before we reach our deathbeds. You see, a lot of us, we follow what is called the socially conditioned narrative. 
we go to college because our parents tell us to, society tells us to. We get a degree and a job that we don't want to because it's the right thing to do. We buy the house, we get the car, we get the mortgage, we get the kids, we marry the person who wasn't right for us. We live a life that's expected of us. We don't want to go against the herd. We don't want to be outcasts, so we do what's normal. We omit our dreams because of this. Sometimes the dreams we have seem too ridiculous, seem not appropriate for the situation. And when we're on our deathbeds, that's when we can truly realize that we might have wasted our life. We could have done something else. We could have actually lived a life that would have enjoyed more following our higher purposes, not agreeing with what others expected of us, but doing things that we wanted to do. So that's the number one most potent regret. So don't live a life that others expect of you. Pave your own way. I'm going to show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bam, boom. That's it. And you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it. Just do it.